my friend. Oh, this, this is going to be a very powerful day for um, the background frequency that we are all going to be living in until um, January 14th of 2022. Pluto is actually going to be moving in to the 61st gate. So what does that mean for you and me? What Pluto does is Pluto brings a truth and a transformation to the frequency that we're, we're flowing through us through that neutrino stream. It's all about that wisdom, correct? That wisdom that is being brought from the um, planetary placements in our solar system that are affecting our human being more than anything else. Again, Pluto's all about that truth and that transformation. And here's what's really fun. So here's Pluto here. And Neptune, Neptune actually, what it does is, you know, it, it's going around prior to, to Pluto. And what Neptune does is it, it veils the information. Okay, so... Neptune's already traveled through the 61st gate. Now, you know, we're, we're moving in this mm, Fibonacci kind of sequence, right? We're linearly flowing through space with this spiral activity that's taking place. And as the planetaries, as the planets move around the rave mandala, um, let me just... I'm going to pull up. I am going to pull up my um, my mechanics so that you can see it in a different way. So as as um, as the planets flow through each one of these gates and moves through each one of these energies and flows its um, information through the neutrino stream, okay? So here we have Pluto that's moving in to the 61st gate on January 5th. What has happened is that it has been in the 54th gate. Now Pluto stays in there for approximately two years. And most of us probably have felt this, the world just seemed like it got so ambitious, so ambitious over the last two years. Um, so many entrepreneurs have come, come through. The material plane has been a real um, driving force for people. But now what we're noticing is that Instead of being ambitious, it's going to be about really, you know, the truth is going to come from your inner truth, from that 61st gate. The transformation is in the 61st gate through Pluto. Now, again, this isn't you. You're not becoming this. Unless, of course, you hold this in your, in your body graph, then what you're going to notice is that it's more enhanced at this moment. But the wisdom that's going to happen through that neutrino stream is what we're going to feel in the background frequency. So let's just take a look at what's going to happen on Saturday the 5th. And the other really interesting aspect, and I'm not sure if you um, took a look at my video from yesterday, but I talked about the moon. The moon has a, an enormous um, effect on our physical body because it actually pulls us into the life. It pulls us into experience. And we're going to have a full moon on January 5th. 2019, and Pluto is transitioning into the 61st gate of inner truth. 
you know, that inner truth is all about occult knowledge. So you're going to feel for two, you know, until um, 2022. So I guess three years. This palpating frequency of inner truth. And that comes from occult knowledge. So that's why, you know, we were all getting prepared for this in the spiritual realm. Our truth is coming from that um, movement into that occult knowledge. So on that particular day, what you're going to notice down here is this channel, this channel of mutation. This has been here um, for quite a long time, since October 22nd of um, 2018, and it does not actually... Um, The 60th gate here is going to move out of that particular, um, out of this position on February 20th of 2019. So up until then, for that whole period, we're feeling this pulse on, pulse off, pulse on, pulse off. It's permeating um, the background frequency. And what you're going to notice on, you know, when the energy moves of Pluto into that 61st gate is that here's what's also fun. <laughs> Doubt is being veiled. So really what Neptune does is it like, okay, it comes in, there's a whole bunch of writing on a whiteboard and it just erases it all. And it clears it all off so that when Pluto comes along, there can be a new truth and a new transformation that happens in that particular gate or trait. So doubts being, you know, kind of veiled and cleaned up so that when we move into that, it's going to look different. So that truth is happening as a palpation, right? Because this, this pulse is taking place. And what else we're going to notice is that there's going to be a bunch of, how do I want to say, it's about fighting for that inner truth, okay? It's about creating alliances and being able to, you know, follow some really stimulating ideas and valuable ideas by, by communicating that we're not going to, you know, hold firm on those old standards. We're moving into the new. We're moving into, you know, these, these new principles. We're going to reject those uh, particular standards that we're holding to right now. And we're going to provoke, right? This whole energy is about, you know, provoking the truth. Now, of course, What's really key to this in all of these, you know, daily transits that happen, weekly transits, monthly, yearly, whatever it is, it isn't about becoming it. It's about taking the wisdom and then allowing for your strategy and authority to guide you. You know, if there's a response to the inner truth movement for the generators and manifesting generators, if there's an invitation to the inner truth, you know, it's about responding to the behavior that, that, you know, of that rejecting of standards for the generators and manifesting generators. So these are the kind of things, you know, I can give you a snapshot of what the energy is, but it's all about strategy and authority, right? You know, that immaturing um, energy of the innocence is going to be palpating in that truth, That ability to, you know, get a strong foundation of the values is going to palpate in that inner truth. And it's all about your strategy and authority, right? You know, as a manifesting generator or generator, are you going to feel a 
a pull into the flow, into that, you know, inner peace. You know, and for our manifestors, when the information is presented to them, that inner truth information, you know, when it's presented to them, you know, is, there's, is there going to be this um, initiation that happens so that they can then initiate other people into that inner truth? That's what these transits are all about. It's not about, oh, you're going to move into this and be this. No. This is about understanding that the frequency is there. It's the background of your movie. And then you get to use your strategy and authority to, to interact with that background movie. And what's so key here is if we're making the decisions through the not-self, Oof, we're going to have some craziness because there's lots of going to, going to be a ton of, you know, provocative fighting happening. If we're not using our strategy and authority, there's still going to be provocative fighting, but it's going to look totally different because it's going to come from a place of inner truth. And that inner truth is all about being, you know, that tenacious, that tenacious being. It's going to innocently, you know, walk through their human experience to just be able to be in the flow of what they are meant to be in flow of. Because that inner truth is absolutely stimulating them, you know, to express their ideas based off of strategy and authority. And having this, you know, background frequency of accepting the mutation. There's this pulse, this melancholy right now that's happening that's saying, okay, if you want to accept this mutation, do it through strategy and authority, not through the mind. Because the mind's going to get very chaotic. Um, you know, unfortunately, the world's probably going to get into you know, even more fighting than we see right now. There's going to be this stubbornness um, to face all kinds of opposition. And it's okay if we're doing that through strategy and authority. You're, you're meant to go, hold on a minute. There's opposition here. Let me just pay attention to your, to your view because we're all unique and that's okay. But it isn't about, you know, being defensive and all of that. Being defensive comes from the chaos and distraction of a not-self mind. So enjoy this transit that's happening. You know, the next three years are going to be super profound on this planet. Because Pluto's saying, your truth, your truth right now, is coming from a place of inner truth. Trusting strategy and authority. It's not about belief systems. It's not about, I have more money than you. I have a better God than you. No. This is about, here's my experience. I can share with you my experience through my, you know, highly tuned instrument and be a beautiful outer authority. Or for those that still want to operate through that not self, it's going to get quite chaotic. So, what I would recommend always is that the inner authority, the strategy, is adhered to. So that you get to experience this background frequency correctly as you, correctly as you. You know, it's going to be a six-line day. Six-line days are all about, you know, transition. or transitioning into inner truth. And inner truth is lying in the head center. You know, this, this inspirational center. And this is all about pressure and fuel. So if we're operating through strategy and authority, there's this fuel for inner truth. If we're 
we're operating through not self, there's this awful mental pressure. And then the mind gets very chaotic and then doesn't know which way to go. So if you want to know more about you, you want to have a better um, understanding of your design, you know, um, how these transits relate to you, definitely, um, definitely connect with me. Um, I love this information beyond anything that I've ever encountered before. And uh, thank you very much for your time. And I hope that we can um, connect. <laughs>